Oh no! Hey folks, so today I'm going to talk about Stephanie Danler's Sweet Bitter. It, this is the first book that made me feel kind of old. And that's because it distills so well the era of your early 20s. Well, my early 20s anyway. Um, and that's, that's behind me. So I'm sitting here watching this main character, Tess, make all these decisions. Um, she works in food service and she goes out and parties, you know, it's very similar decisions that I made. But I'm watching her make these decisions and I'm like, oh man, I'd never do that. I know so much better than her. But it's like, no, I don't. And I didn't. And that's, that's the thing. Um, I feel old because I was looking at somebody in that time of life and they said, Oh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go and party every night after work till 4 o'clock in the morning. I wouldn't go and do cocaine. I wouldn't go run off with a guy or a girl. That just wasn't good for me and ditch all my friends. But you know what? I did a lot of similar stuff, so it's not like I'm better than her. So once I got over that judgment, um, I was like, okay, it's just because I'm getting older. I'm in a different place in my life, and I think I know better, even if I don't. Um... But it just, her book just distilled that time in my life and in a lot of people's lives. Their early 20s, working in food service, experiencing the world, like craving, like real visceral, like physical experiences. Um, and just seeking after, you know, the big things in life, you know, uh, pleasure, um, love, meaning, family, um, beauty, all these things this character is looking for, you know, she's trying to find beauty in like all these fine wines and all this great food that she's eating, but she's also, you know, seeking that experience with alcohol and drugs and stuff. So, and she gets a protege, you know, she gets enveloped in this family of food service, and that's really kind of what food service feels like. It's a big family, kind of big community, everyone knows each other, everyone spends so much time at the restaurant, um, just getting to know each other outside the restaurant, hanging out, partying, sharing philosophies, a lot of literary characters, artists, um, in restaurants, everybody's trying to do something else. It's like their job is the restaurant, but then they got other things they're working on. And this character is like in all this, try like she's an orphan trying to figure out her place in life and who she is in it. You know, she fights with the identity the whole time and eventually she gets there. She goes from being a sponge, just absorbing everything and to growing a spine. She evolves into herself and yeah, it's a, it's a really good book. Um, it's looking at the back cover, right? I wouldn't expect this woman to have written this book, but it's fantastic and I'm glad she wrote it and it helped me connect with a time in my past and it just distilled that era so well and I'm just grateful that she wrote it and I'm grateful for her words so if you like it uh, let me know in the comments if you've read it if you are uh, looking into it uh, just let me know give me a thumbs up if you like the video thanks guys